Hello and welcome to another edition of Jam Coaches. This time we're not on the couch, we are located in Mike's office and I'm currently sitting in Mike's chair. So I'm sure he won't take umbrage to me recording this video from here, but we might get, find out how much of backlash we get. However, today we will be talking about deadlines and the importance of setting them. Um, so in terms of everyday life, we all know deadlines can be quite stressful and they can put a lot of pressure on us. However, deadlines in the terms of fitness can be beneficial and really help us to achieve our goals all in all. And particularly with the likes of SMART goals, which we've talked about in previous blogs. SMART being goals which are specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and also time constrained. So if, you have, if you're unsure about any of those, please go back and check the previous blogs that we've done on the Jam Fitness website and have a read over those. Um, however, with the deadlines, they will give us more a sense of urgency in terms of achieving the goal and also allow us to progress a little bit faster by giving us ultimately motivation and allow us to factor in rest once we have achieved those goals as well. So these goals could be time constrained by months or it could be weeks depending on what your goal is particularly. For example, if you're training for likes of a running race for like a marathon or half marathon, then that can be something obviously you've got a time limit there and you'll obviously be able to work towards a plan by building up your mileage week on week with that. However, if you are training for things like body fat or overall body mass, then it can be slightly different. It has to be a little bit more tailored in terms of week by week progression. So even if it is lowering either of those by a certain percentage or a certain weight each week, then it will allow you to achieve the goal a little bit faster, allow you to manage it a little bit more controlled in that you can monitor week on week and see if you're falling behind in your goal or if you are in fact ahead and then plan ahead from there as well. Um, so like we said earlier, by factoring in rest, you will allow yourself to recover and then ultimately hit your next goal overall. So you can give yourself some time between goals. So for example, if you hit your goal early, give yourself time to recover and then go at it again. For example, give yourself a week of rest and then sort of focus on your goal again. So the most, most important thing overall here is just setting a deadline and having some focus for the longer run so you do have something to work towards as well. So using those SMART goals, by having something specific, you will be able to achieve it a lot more in a lot more controlled manner and it will allow you to um, achieve that goal uh, with a greater percentage of success than having just, um, for example, set a goal and just giving yourself no time limit, just wanting to hit that target over a longer period of time. So by getting a plan as well, that will certainly help. If you need a plan for anything in particular, speak to any one of us and we can show you how to ultimately achieve your goal through the likes of resistance training and through cardiovascular with things like flexibility uh, in there as well, which is obviously very important. So just again, by speaking to us if you need to, you will be able to achieve your goal a little bit faster as well, just by getting a structured plan in place. And remember, it is all about keeping it structured, that being the key word here as well. So you will get a long-term progression uh, from the, the deadline as well. Uh, but likewise, any questions, give us a shout, drop us a line, leave a comment on the video, or um, ultimately leave a comment on our Facebook page. And remember to, mo to like, share and subscribe this video. Um, so as we, if we get more popular, we can produce more videos as well. Hope that was informative for you. As I say, any questions, give us a shout. Ciao for now.